Here's the Matthews Vortex coil with the first set of windings on it. Uh, windings uh, 1 and 2 of the first pair uh, shown in S. Matthews author uh, video. It has a hall sensor attached there and a neo ball. And I'll show you the circuit in a little bit first. I'm going to try to get it going here. That should give you some idea of how fast this thing will rotate. Probably around mm, 50,000 RPM, I'd say, based on my past experiences. And I wanted to show you the two transistor circuits. There's two of them there. There's um, one set, two channels, actually. I'm only using one connected to the coil. And here is the schematic diagram. The schematic diagram shows uh, two transistors. The hall sensor puts out a negative pulse every time the south pole of the magnet goes by. It goes to the base of the PNP transistor. Then it buffers the signal so that then uh, the negative going pulses go to the base of the MOSFET transistor, uh, which is uh, handles up to 900 volt spikes very well. And it's very quite robust and reliable. And then the windings in the coil are in series. It's about 7 ohms of series resistance um, off the drain of the MOSFET. And then uh, it just pulses every time the magnet starts spinning it accelerates and then it just keeps pulsing and pulsing like a, s a runaway snowball. Um, and I've used this driver to good effect on many of my circuits. So this is just my first uh, intro uh, to this new geometry from um, Matthews. I wanted to show this to everybody. And here's a final shot of the coil itself. There's actually three windings, three nested lobes. One winding, there's an inner, inner one then an intermediate one and a third one, the third pedal. Um, and it's uh, quite powerful for the amount of copper used on there. Thank you.